Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I thought I would show you some of my oldest miniatures. These miniatures are made of metal. I've had them for such a long time, they're sitting in a very old case. They are from different versions of Dungeons and Dragons. Some of them are even from uh, Warhammer. But I thought I would show you, since I'm supposed to be showing you how to paint miniatures shortly, and uh, my eyes are getting old and my hand is not as steady as it was, so I would show you what I could do in the past, and I have absolutely no idea what I can do in the future, but I'll show you what I've done in the past. So first of all, um, as you can see, some of these miniatures are from the Warhammer fantasy game. Over here I have some old flamers. This is the old style flamer. Basically a strange creature that has sort of uh, two sort of uh, arms. I wouldn't even say arms, more like tentacles that shoot out fire. This is the newer flamer here. Um, this is the sort of paintwork that I used to be able to do. Over here, one of my favourites has definitely got to be the pink horrors. I have a pink horror here. Strange things. They're pink, they've got big teeth, and they've got big long arms for grabbing things. Another old um, flamer over here too. Ghosts. So these are ghosts that you used to be able to get for Warhammer Fantasy. And um, I had a whole bunch of these. I've got two of them left, I believe. One and it's purple, one is brown. Uh, this is an old stone... Uh, should I say, an old iron golem. Um, this is back when I I would just put black paint over and then just dry brush over. And then most of my miniatures, because they're made out of metal, I used to coat with varnish. And it was a gloss varnish so that I get the best protection for the miniature. Um, and because I couldn't really afford to go gloss and matte, it retains that, uh, that glossy finish. Here might be something you're interested in. Um, I'll do another video on some of these if you request it. This is an Umber Hulk. This is literally a really old metal Umber Hulk. Over here we have what you can tell is probably, it looks more like a mummy, but it's actually a giant mummy. And um, my brother actually painted this for me, I didn't paint this one. Over here we have a, a, a zombie troll with an axe. It's quite a cool looking miniature. I don't know if you can see um, all the detail on it, but um, I think my brother painted this one also. I think most of the ones he's painted aren't varnished. Here I have what is a, a flying, well I don't know what you would call it. It basically has got an arm that shoots something out of it and a sword on a, flying on a disc. I don't know exactly what game that came from, but I know it's very old. Over here I have a miniature from, I don't think it's from any particular game, but it looks a little bit like the Swamp Thing, but with a gun. Um, you can see it's sort of got like purple um, uh, skin, and then pink tubing, and then uh, just a handgun, some sort of laser pistol or whatever. Over here I have a very old water elemental with white hair, and she's sort of leaning on the side, pointing. Um, this is one of my old dragons sitting on a rock, ready to fly off. And here I have, uh, this is a genie, this one right here. Uh, I've only used this once and it's, it's a very heavy miniature. I have to be careful that it doesn't sort of roll into something else and damage it. But uh, I just painted it pink, blue and red. Uh, most of my paint jobs in the early days were sort of basic, solid colour, not a lot of detail, not a lot of um, dry brushing, no layering. Um, layering paint is something that's quite new to me, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it really, not, not properly, but we'll see. Here, some sort of strange uh, sea creature with a jaw and a fishtail. I've had it for, for years. And I've never been able to paint it in a way that I actually uh, was satisfied. So I keep repainting it for some strange reason. And here we have a rather small stone golem. Um, you can see he's, uh, he's poised ready to either punch somebody or just flexing a bicep. I don't know if you necessarily would find my oldest miniatures that interesting. But if you did, great. 
Uh, share, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions or you would like me to do a more in-depth video on some of these miniatures, I will do that. A close-up view so you can see exactly what it's like. Uh, until next time, keep rolling those 20s.